Mac users always had the luxury of just opening any file on their computer, hitting that airdrop button, and in 0.2 seconds it's on their phones. And in this video, I'm gonna, you know, give Windows users some love. Today I'm gonna show you how to basically have an airdrop type feature on your Windows PC to send stuff over to your iPhone or your iPad. So it's actually very simple. You don't need any software to download. It's all web-based, which I really like. Wait, before I show you guys this magic, Let's take a quick word from today's sponsor, NordPass. NordPass is actually something I use a lot, so I'm not just telling you this because it's a sponsor. It's actually really good and it helps me so much when I'm trying to remember all my different passwords or log into different websites that I even haven't used for a long period of time. NordPass is a lifesaver. So if you're like me and you just always forget your password or you're just tired of clicking that reset my password button every time, then you should check out today's sponsor, NordPass. NordPass gets rid of all the fuss around passwords, it autofills forms, remembers an unlimited number of passwords and even generates complex ones for you so you don't have to. Don't be that person that uses the same password for everything, it's just not safe. NordPass also recognizes suspicious websites so you don't accidentally reveal your sensitive information and you could stay safe online. Now today you could get 50% off at NordPass at www.nordpass.com backslash Siobhan or you could use code Siobhan at checkout. All right guys, we're at our PC now. What you want to do is just open a browser. So let me close this out. Today we're gonna open Brave. You want to type in snapdrop.net, all right? So, or you could search for it and you can see right here, snapdrop.net. Then what you want to do is to get your iPhone, okay? Go in Safari, I advise you guys to use Safari and type in snapdrop.net. That's all you have to do, this is free. And yeah, basically it works, it mimics airdrops, it does the same thing. So say for example, we want to add something to our iPhone, we hit this iPhone right here. And for me personally, I like to um, export my TikTok videos and then put it on my iPhone. So let's find that right now, TikTok content. And say for example, we want to export this one right here or this one. No, yeah, boom. And as you can see, it's transferring takes no time and it sends the original quality and all of that, which is impressive. Now, as you can see, it's asking us if you want to save, you just hit save, download, then basically it will download into the files app. You want to search for it, hit the share button, and then you want to save the video. And as you guys can see, it's playing right there. So if we're going to our photos app and we check our recents, don't look at those selfies. There is the video and that's really impressive. Now, one thing I haven't tried is multiple um, files. So let's see if we could send multiple files and let's actually go into pictures, Lightroom, and let's send like three of these files. Hit open. Hmm. Send files or right click to send a message. Oh, I have to go into the app, I'm done. Oh, it actually sends. So once you're on the page, it's sending, as you guys can see. So yeah, it will save all those files, hit download. It's sending the other one. So it does it one by one. It's not like AirDrop where it sends everything right away. But that's still impressive, right? So yeah, hit save again. And if you go into your downloads, you can see all the pictures that I just took high quality guys i don't know if you could see this but this is h to the d impressive stuff right here and yeah that's basically it for today's video that's how you get airdrop on your windows devices and also if you're worrying about privacy they don't store any images or anything like that they don't see what you upload to the website i actually looked into that before sharing this video with you guys because i wouldn't want that to be an issue that i let you guys upload stuff and they're taking your images. No, the security um, features that they use, they do not save or store or look at your images or anything of the sort. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this video and you can send images or videos just so you guys know. Anything basically, you could share it. I'm not sure if there's a um, limit 
because I haven't tried anything too big. The largest I've tried is I think 300 megabytes, but I'm sure it could handle anything possible. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and hit that subscribe button, road to 100K. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.